Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at silicone testing, in particular silicone rubber properties. Before we get too far in, let's have a look to see who this video is really for. Now if you are designing components from silicone, you should understand the different test methods for checking different properties to ensure your final product meets all of the design criteria and requirements ensuring product safety. So let's have a look at the Universal Test Machine. Now the Universal Elastomer Tensile Test Machine is used to determine multiple material properties such as tensile strength, tear strength, elongation, peel strength, plus more. Here we are going to focus on just the tensile, tear and elongation properties. The Universal Tester works by loading a pre-cut sample of the material you are testing into the jaws or grips of the machine. The extensometer is attached to the sample piece. This measures the behavior of the sample during the testing. The machine then separates the grips at a constant rate until the sample breaks. Let's have a look at the process steps. Number one, we need to load the test sample into the tensile test machine. 2. Attach the extensometer to the sample. 3. Begin the test by separating the tensile grips at a constant rate of speed. Speed depends on specimen shape and can range from 0.05 to 20 inches per minute. The target time from start of the test to break should be from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. Number 4. The end of the test is after the sample breaks or ruptures. Here is a visualization of the process. In the first image, we can see the samples being processed and stamped out. In the second image, this is where the sample is loaded into the test machine and the extensometer is fitted to the sample piece. The third image is where the grips are being separated at a constant speed. In the fourth image, we can see the sample piece is really being extended, and this is just prior to that being ruptured. The fifth image is the end of the test where that sample piece has actually ruptured. Now let's have a look at silicone tensile strength. Tensile testing of silicone. This is one of the most used mechanical tests. By measuring the force required to elongate a specimen to breaking point, material properties can be determined. Tests carried out to ASTM D412. The test procedure. The testing is normally conducted on dumbbell test pieces which are punched out of 2mm test sheets. The test is done in a tensile testing machine which pulls the sample piece to the extent of rupture. We had a look at that in the previous slides. Let's have a look at the silicone tensile strength results. These graphs were taken from a test result published by ADMET. We can see here that the tensile strength at rupture of the test piece is 678 PSI. Now let's have a look at the silicone elongation testing. Elongation testing of silicone. Now the elongation test can be carried out at the same time as tensile testing. You will be able to determine the elongation percentage from the tensile test results and to calculate the elongation using the formula shown here. So we've got the total stretched length minus the original length equals the stretched length or the elongation. So we can look at the 70 millimeters total stretch length of the specimen, the original length 
was 25 millimeters, therefore the stretched length was 45 millimeters. And the next part of the equation is 45 millimeters, which is the stretched length, divided by the 25 millimeters, which is the original length, equals 1.8 millimeters. Now, if we then multiply that by 100, we get the 1.8 multiplied by 100 to give us our percentage, which is 180% elongation. Again, let's have a look at a published set of results from ADMET. And we can see the elongation of their sample piece was 454%. Now let's have a look at the silicone tear strength. Tear strength testing is carried out on the same test machine that is used to test tensile strength and elongation. The measurement is taken at the point the sample breaks. The test specimen will have a pre-cut notch. This is different to the tensile strength specimen. You can see this is clearly not a dumbbell shape. And you can see the pre-cut notch in the sample at this 90 degree point here. Here is a visualization of the setup. And again, you can see in the first image where the sample is loaded into the machine. The second image is where the grips are being moved apart at a constant rate. The third image is where the sample piece is beginning to rupture. And the last image is the sample piece has ruptured. Now again, we can have a look at some published results from ADMET. Now this shows a tear strength test appropriate for rubbers, elastomers, and silicones, and performed according to ASTM D624. In this first graph, we have a maximum force of 8.14 pounds. This second graph we can see a little bit more detail with respect to what the details of the sample piece were, what the maximum force was, and the tear strength. The tear strength in this case was 134 pounds per inch. For more information on materials we regularly work with, you can visit our learning center.